Hello fellow cats and car lovers alike. So what I wanted to do today is get myself an Aventador. I popped on the game because I thought, how have I not driven an Aventador yet? The only Lamborghini I own, I believe, is Eurus that I've bought myself. And I own about four Huracans, which I got for free. All of them gifted by fours of themselves. But so what I thought is uh, I want to get an Aventador. It's the only Lamborghini that comes to mind straight away other than a couple of others which I'll get in the future. But the Aventador, how do I not have an Aventador? Somebody was suggesting for the longest time, Theo, get an Aventador. So here's an Aventador. Unfortunately, it's been wrapped in absolute garbage. So we're gonna change that straight away, don't worry. Merry Christmas, Microsoft, putting a bloody Xbox One on the side of my Lamborghini. I would send that back or at least get it wrapped as soon as I got it. And look at those rims, those are hideous. So without further ado, I think we should get into actually customizing this. So I'm gonna make it orange. I'm gonna make it look stockish. Maybe a little bit of a carbon bonnet, something like that. See how it goes. I know people don't really like carbon bonnets sometimes, but I don't care. It's my car, and it's gonna look awesome. One thing to note is when you actually go into the garage and look at how many tokens it costs, it costs 420. Exactly. That's the horrible vinyl gone. Uh, what do we have bonnet-wise? Let's see. I want to see what carbon fiber looks like on here. Ooh, I quite like that, but at the same time, I like it normal. I'm gonna go normal. As for the wheels, though, those are going to be changed to carbon fiber. Definitely. Look at that. A bit more of a shine to them. And as for the wing, can I actually change the color of the wing? I can't. If I give me the bloody option, if I can't change it, doesn't matter. Save design. Basic with carbon wheel. That's all you need in an Aventador. You don't need to drastically change it. I thought I'd come to uh, here to see what we can actually do. Uh, so we can change the aspiration. I'm going to do that. I'm going to buy... Stop showing me tokens, game. I hate that. I, like, there were no microtransactions. It was absolutely fine. And now they're added them. What's that? Did that say convert to front wheel drive? It didn't. I got confused because it's one side. and doesn't matter. I'm not going to lie. I actually quite like that wing. But I really prefer the stock one. I like the flappy thing. What type of car are we going to make? Oh, we can only put off-road tires on it. Why would I do that? I might do in the future, though, to be honest. So I'm going to increase the tire width. I'm going to make it fat as possible. Put on the weight there, buddy. I'm going to use all those tokens so they disappear because it's quite annoying, to be honest. It was fine. Like, you, you were absolutely fine, Forza. And now you're trying to shove these tokens down my throat. And I'm not taking it. So I think what we'll uh, do is pretty much keep it stock. One thing I want to check, though, before we do uh, is can I actually change the suspension? I can. Can I put the rally suspension? I can put rally suspension on it. You don't need a Eurus anymore. You got an Aventador with rally suspension. It's just a little tinier, smaller Eurus. It's, it's more practical. But maybe it's, it's not, but it'll do. Anyway, we should take this thing for a drive. So it is night time here in Horizon. I haven't played Horizon for a little bit, so I thought, hey, I'm going to do it. I think the only times I've played it... Oh, hello, brothers. Look at this. Joining in a convoy of, of other ones here. I don't know, that, that was pretty cool. I didn't, I didn't really, um, expect to see two other of the same car pull up right next to me. Aventador gang. I think they're exactly they're turning the exact same way as what well. they're shunting me a little bit. If, you, if you'd stop that, that would be much better. It would be much more organized. You want me to go last? All right, I'll go in last. Mine's the, the basic clean, nice. Stop. I don't like you guys. I was splitting up, are we? Come on, then. Yes. So as I was saying, um, I haven't really played it much other than kind of playing about with, uh, you know, AR-12 and such, doing the challenges. Other than that, I haven't touched it. I did the Storm Island, and yeah, that's about it. Uh, we're going to be doing a challenge, kind of two-part challenge. It's probably coming up after this video. Um, in where it's going to be part on the crew, part on Horizon 2. We've done the first part, which is on the crew. So look out for that soon. But uh, yeah, as I said, other than that, I haven't played a lot of it. And I don't know why. The game itself is solid. It has pretty much everything you'd want if you like cars and stuff. But it's a bit small. There isn't... It, if, I know it's not all the stuff that you'd really want to do in a car game. But it feels at the same time like there isn't that much to do. Now before we get into this, yes, this is all-wheel drive. I like all-wheel drive. Did you know that all-wheel drive drifting is possible? Well, look at that. Yeah, it's doing it. So, uh, what I wanted to do is actually just go for a little slide. 
around here because we're going down this road it kind of makes sense to just drift this thing anyway um so anyway what i wanted to ask you guys is what do you want to see forza horizon 2 content wise now i know i'm doing this inventador thing uh we're going to drive around with this inventador for a little bit because i haven't done an inventador build uh it's not going to be like a specific build in any way it's just going to be kind of the first drive i guess i could bring the first drive series to uh to horizon 2 which is if you don't know it's a drive club series but uh that was more I don't know, it was more varied, because in this, like, the cars feel a little bit similar, like, they don't they don't feel drastically different to each other. So, there's that. But yeah, um, I might do first drive, in where I kind of tune it a little bit, just to be... Speaking of tuning, let's do a little bit now, actually. So if I go over to cars, and I go over to tune, I don't want to do anything drastic. What I'm going to do is quickly, you know, tune it so it can turn a little bit more. So if we go to, yeah... I forgot. So that plans down the Shriter, but, uh, but, oh god, why would you be in the way in the only corner I was getting right? I'm glad I stuck with the flappy spoiler there, I'm not gonna lie. I didn't even mean to change view, but stuff it, you wanted to do that anyway, didn't you, Lamborghini? You ruined my bloody slide because I'm changing views. Come on! I wasn't even trying for that challenge. Oh my god! Aventador. It's, be, it's a bit weird going back from uh, playing Drive Club and the crew the past while, mainly the crew. Even going back to Drive Club was weird. And now I go to Horizon where it's like, it's very simple. It's a little bit weird, I'm not going to lie. Oh my god, I'm going to hit it. Oh my god, I didn't. That was some ninja skill driving right there. One thing I just thought of that makes, I know it's a stupid little difference, but it's something I just noticed. The cars on this game, they do feel a bit rubbery, they do feel a bit samey, like none of the cars really feel that much different if compared to, you know, all-wheel drive feels a bit different, rear-wheel drive feels a bit different, but it feels very similar. I mean, Forza 5, that had a difference, you know, you can tell. But maybe, I'm, I'm thinking little here, but license plates, is that something that I'm thinking? Where, where's that? Maybe that's, that's, look, the Ellie's going for days, spinning for days. Maybe that's a little tiny detail that my, my eyes are just missing, and it's like, Fear, where, where are these things? I don't know, it could be anything like that. <laughs> I might add license plates to my cars and see how we get on with that. Just put a Panther license plate. Make it that much more, wow, that car's amazing. It's got a Panther license plate on it. If anyone wants to make one, be my guest. <laughs> but uh, what I might do now is go back to... Actually, what we'll do, we'll carry on down this road... And uh, we'll go to the customization shop there. And we'll just kind of do a little bit of an upgrade on there. I'm not going to do too much because I don't really need to. I'm just going to put on, uh, you know, upgrade the car a little bit. Upgrade all the things I can. I've, all, all I've really put on it so far is a twin turbo. And uh, it's not doing too bad. Not too bad. Cock! Oh my god, it's a bit of a bumpy road here. Stop. Yes, that's how you enter a garage. Now, what I want to do very quickly. All right, is she going to say hello? Let me know what you need. Well, I need everything. So what we're going to do is literally upgrade everything we possibly can. And once we're done, I'll be back. All right, we're done. So uh, this thing is a little bit different for multiple reasons. Main reason, suspension and ride height. Like this thing is a lot taller than it should be. I've put... The rally suspension on it. Now, the reason I did that is because I thought it would be pretty cool to give it a go. So, it automatically makes it very soft. So, I stiffened it up a little tiny bit. Not as much as I normally would. Uh, I've made it so my turning circle is greater by doing the toe angle. And uh, that's pretty much it. I guess I've changed the diff to kind of configure it to, to you know... Oh my god, be more focused. I, I don't know, how does uh mean Anna? I don't, I don't get Anna sometimes. Anyway, so as I was saying, the diff has gone 75 acceleration and 70 on um, deacceleration and 60% towards the rear of the car. But other than that, nothing. So straight away, it is a little bit weird. Like you can tell straight away, I, I'm missing that corner. I don't know where I was going with that one. Um, the turning circle isn't as great as I thought it would be, so I think what I'm actually going to do is configure that a little bit more. Go over to cars, go over to tune, and then if I go over here, I'm going to actually go crazy. I'm going to go 1.5. That's absolutely mental. What is he doing? 
He's a crazy madman. I know, right? No, it's not even that much, but... Oh my god, don't you dare. You scratch my paint. Please. Thank you very much. Anywho. It, it's a little bit more bouncy. I quite like it. I think my, like, jelly builds... It's not really a jelly build per se, but, I mean, jelly build cars are usually a little bit more fun to drive. Like, the sway you see is pretty damn cool. Um... But I mean, this this is pretty cool. I mean, I, I like how it feels a little bit softer. It's a little bit lighter. It's not like literally stuck to the ground like a, another car would be. It, it's, I don't know. I think what I should have done is put it in combination with the rally tires. That might have actually made it slide a little bit more because you know, the tires on this Aventador are already absolutely, God damn it, you pleb. They're already pretty, like, grippy beast. Um, because, well, there's no upgrades for it at all. So, you know, they're already, like, top-notch wheels. So, there's that. But I, I quite like it. Let's see. That's a good experiment, actually. We should take this thing off for What are you doing? You, why is everybody hitting me today? We should take this thing kind of off-roading and see if that suspension actually helps us um, here. Even though we've got kind of like the, the race tires on, I think it'd be pretty good to try it. Let's see. Probably get to some bumpy off road bits. Oh my god, this is going quicker than I thought it was. Oh, shite. We're fine. We flipped it. Two flips. Back on all four. I was going to say all, all three. No, two. I could math. Fence. We're fine. So yeah, it's uh, still an Aventador. <laughs> it's not going to be some uh, some rally car anytime soon. I don't think you'd want to take one of these off-road if you actually had one anyway. But experiment done of the day. If you want to take an Aventador off-road in Forza Horizon 2, you most certainly can. That's a tree. Now before this video goes on any longer than it needs to, I should probably round it off. Now, this has been another Adventures or First Drive or multiple categories because I don't know what category to put this video under. I just thought I'd come on Forza Horizon 2 because I haven't been on it for a little bit properly. But, yeah, if you want to see more Forza Horizon 2, hit that like button. It does let me know you want to see more. And uh, the Aventador will be gra gra grad. glad to see you next time. That's a bet! Come on, let's get you in. Trey!